My fellow Americans, I'm pleased to tell you today that I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin <laughs> bombing in five minutes. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. In 1984, I'm 11, and every day I am playing The Trip. The Trip was published in the August 1984 issue of Rainbow Magazine. The thing was like toy section of the Sears catalog. You can open it up and... Crazy maze! Oh my god, you can send in your own program? Wait, I can make my computer faster? Hey kids, why don't you take a whole punch to your parents' lobby discs? You'll be doing them a favor. The trip had to be so good, it had been given the coveted Roy G. Biv Award. So in this game, you have to free your friend Joe from the evil forces of whatever. You know the flashing dot on the screen? I just want to play the thing. Now, I'm playing the diskette version. I originally typed it all in and I played it on the cassette because there's a big difference between the two. Oh, and I wrote a story about it. Want to hear it? Joe Boogers was always teasing Jenny Rainbow Rock that he was her boyfriend at school. So one day, she sold his soul to a big demon named Harry Buttstomper for a set of jelly bracelets that were so much cooler than everyone else's. And everyone was happy until his parents found out and she had to get him back. So she walked to the house where the demon lived and she walked on the lawn. She heard the dog bark, but it was this dumb little yip and nobody cared and she walked on the lawn again and the dog came and it ate her. But Jenny was so awesome that it didn't happen to her. It happened to one of her clones. So she went to the demon's house where she had first gone to sell crystal catalogs for her school because her school sucked and needed money. And this time she saw the signs and went to check the signs and the sign said, Beware of the invisible dog. And Jenny was mad because Harry Buttstopper's dog was this little yappy demon corgi thing that she had made invisible because it was so dumb. So she figured she would come back later with her AK-47 that shot nukes and take care of the dog once and for all. But for now, she would go in the demon's house, beat him up, cut off his horns, stuff him up his butt, and take Joe back. So she went in the house. But she fell into a pit. But it wasn't her, it was the red blob that fell. So she trashed the house and put up Gem and the Holograms posters everywhere because they gave the demon laser farts and he wouldn't like that. She went out of the house and decided she was going to trash the demon's garage because he used to practice with his band out there and his band sucked, especially his drummer Lars Ulrich. So after giving the garage door candy because it was a really good garage door, it opened. The garage was really, 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 really dark because the demon had sold all the light because it had sunglasses and didn't need them anyway. So Jenny decided to look out the window to see how awesome it was out there. The stars at night are big and bright. Big in the heart of Texas. <laughs> so Jenny thought she was cool and everything, but she really needed some light. So she found a switch on the wall and gave it five bucks to turn on. The garage had safes for all the bank robberies the demon had made, but even better, it had his getaway car, the bitchinest ride in all existence, called uh, Scream Smoke Space Rider, and it had rockin' speed stripes on the sides, and it had so many stereos in it, it had to have an extra wheel to carry them all. And it was locked. So she asked the skeleton in her pocket, David Lee Skeleton, may I have your key? And he said, So she went to the second locker, and inside she found a panel that was filled with red and yellow keys. And she wanted a key, but she thought maybe she didn't want a key. And she thought maybe Scream Smoke Space Rider would let her in for a jelly bracelet, but no. So she thought, which key, red or yellow? And red is like space fire, so she picked it. I mean, she picked yellow, because yellow was a lot cooler on neon jackets, and they'd want to have their keys accessorized with them. And then... Wait a minute. The keys were really in the first locker because they were Mexican jumping keys, and they were never in the same locker twice. So, she decided it was time to blast into the 3D chrome dome with video rock because Harry Butt Stomper had killed her mom and dad and he needed to pay with extreme precedence. And she opened up Scream Smoke Space Rider and sat on the controls, and then the most awesome thing happened! I am the car. Yep. This is the big difference between the diskette and the cassette version. The cassette version has the car talk to you when you first go inside it. Rainbow Magazine had the instructions. Make a save of the program on an empty cassette. Right after the program, record the following text with a microphone. Pinching your nose to give the impression that a computer is talking. I am the car. Please listen carefully, you stupid human, because I will not repeat these instructions which you are too stupid to comprehend. I am an all-push-button car. 
you have to push a button to turn me on. As if it was that easy. Or off, to move around, or open the door to get out of me. Or else you'll be trapped in me forever, and neither of us wants that. Once on the main road, you will encounter a number of side roads. Nothing interesting happens there, but you will encounter them anyway. It's like life. Each one bears a number which will appear at the upper left or right side of your screen. You can turn on a side road as long as you can see the road and the number. If you turn where there is no road, you will drive off a cliff, you fucking moron. Once on a side road, your screen will become blank because even it will have become bored with this dumb game. You then have to open the door and get out. Just get out. To get back to me and the main road, just, I don't know, try hitting the space bar or something. Or maybe escape. Just, I tell you what, go look for the any key. If you want to get back to me and the main road, press the any key. Good luck and go fuck yourself. But Jenny already knew all that and was kind of playing with the buttons until Scream Smoke Space Rider would shut up. And now that she was ready, she hit the on button, starting the thrusters so hard that the fuel tank started to go down. Ready for adventure? She hit drive. To be continued.